Hi guys. So <clears throat> let's begin today's session. Let's keep your back and neck straight. And very gently close your eyes. Start observing your breath. Watch the natural flow of your breathing as you are inhaling and exhaling. Slowly shift your attention to your body. <clears throat> Make sure that you are correctly aligned in your posture. You should be comfortable and stable. Come back to your breathing and begin to deepen the breath. Go for slow, long, and deep breaths. And after your next uh, inhalation, hold your breath in for about two seconds and then go into the process of exhalation. We'll be chanting Om three times, followed by three Shantis. Inhale deeply for Om. <clears throat> oh. Shanti, Shanti.
Shanti. Observe the vibrations. Join your palms together and drop your palms together. <clears throat> Place your palms on your eyes. Very slowly while blinking and looking at your palms, begin to open up your eyes, start coming back with a smile. And namaste to everyone. Let us begin today's session. <clears throat> so today we are going to go for a practical session, right? So guys, whenever you feel the need, move your body and try to move your body after we finish a particular practice, not during a particular practice, okay? I will be guiding you throughout and I will be demonstrating the practices also whenever required, whenever we begin a new practice. So if you guys don't remember something or if you find any difficulty, you can always just gently open your eyes or keep your palms on your eyes and then just for one time you can view and I'll give the beginning instructions. I will demonstrate the practices also. Okay. So any doubts before we begin? Any doubts in anything? No? Okay, great. So wherever you are, sit comfortably. Keep your back and neck straight and gently close your eyes. Bring your mind to the breathing. Slowly come to your posture. Just take this time to manage and to align yourself. If there are very minute adjustments that you require, slowly move your body and adjust your posture. Take this time to come in a comfortable posture in which you feel you can sit for a long period of time. And make sure you're not straining your lower back too much. You can gently push your stomach in and you'll feel the weight shift to your buttocks. Try to keep your neck and shoulders as relaxed as possible. And release any tension from your face. Gently come back to your breathing. And consciously deepen the breath. Go into the practice of Puraka and Rechaka. Take a few moments 
to set your intention before you begin your practice. And also take this time to give this thought in your mind, the strong determination that you will try not to move your posture for the remaining of your practice. And if at any point of time you will feel the need, you can very slowly move your body. Don't go for very fast and immediate movements. You will remain aware throughout practice. We are going to begin today's practice with abdominal breathing. Keeping your back and neck straight, exhale completely, squeeze your abdomen in and try to get the navel as close to the spine as possible. And once you have exhaled fully, begin to inhale and expand your abdomen properly. Once your abdomen has expanded to the maximum capacity, directly go into the process of exhalation, contracting the abdomen as you exhale. And again, bring in the navel as close to the spine as possible when you complete the exhalation process. Don't Give any pause after inhaling or exhaling. Continuously inhale and exhale. And keep the mind completely focused on the movement of your abdomen as you practice. Gain more control over your breathing with each consecutive round and try to keep both the inhalations and the exhalations equal as you deepen your practice. Complete your current round <clears throat> and then suspend the practice. Come to your normal breathing and simply observe the impact of the practice of abdominal breathing.
before we begin our next practice. You can change your posture if it is um, not stable and comfortable. We are going to begin with the practice of Anulom Vilom. So with your right hand, either fold the first two fingers and place them on the base of the thumb or you can place the first two fingers between both your eyebrows. Exhale fully. Close the uh, right nostril with the thumb. Begin to inhale through the left side. Once you inhale, close the left side with the ring and little finger. Open the right side and exhale. Directly go into the process of inhalation through your right nostril. Close the right side, open the left side and exhale fully. This is one round. Continue your practice. Go for a few more rounds. Allow this practice to soothe you and balance you so that you can enter the pranayam practices. Deepen the practice with each consecutive round. After completing your current round, go for one last round and then completely suspend your practice.
keeping your back and neck straight. Simply observe the impact of your practice. And again, if you feel the need, you can change your posture before we begin our next practice. We are going to begin with the practice of Ujjayi Pranayam. After your next exhalation, begin to inhale as if you are taking the breath in through the throat and create that ocean-like sound as you contract your glottis. Go for a full and deep breath. And you can choose the exhalation. Either you can exhale through both the nostrils or you can exhale only through your left nostril. So whichever uh, method you prefer more, you can go for that practice. When you exhale, again, there is a sound from the backside of your throat. Try to keep the sound only as loud as you can hear it. Don't go for a very loud sound. And allow Jai Pranayam to relax you completely. After completing your current round, go for one more round. And then you can completely suspend the practice. Keep your attention focused on the throat region after you finish the practice. Simply observe the impact of your practice, how it is different from the other two practices. We'll go for one more round of Ujjayi Pranayam. So go for only five or seven breaths. 
Don't go for more than five to seven breaths. After your next exhalation, begin to inhale and create that sound from the back of your throat region. Make sure there is a sound when you exhale as well. After you finish the five to seven rounds, again, keep your mind focused on the throat region. <clears throat> and if you feel the need, now is the time that you can change your posture, adjust yourself before we enter the next practice. Make sure that your back and neck are straight and that your body is stable. We are going to go for Sheetli or Sheetkari. Pranayam next. So whichever one suits you better, you can go ahead and begin that practice. For Sheetli, you can... Bring your tongue out, roll it in a tubular form and inhale through your mouth. Once you inhale fully, you can take your tongue back in, close your mouth and exhale through your nose. If you prefer sheath kari, you can simply open your mouth, keeping the teeth together. You can inhale through the gaps of the teeth and as you close your mouth you can go for the exhalation try to keep both the inhalation and exhalation equal Whichever practice suits you more, you can go ahead and practice that pranaya and feel the coolness of the air as it enters your body through your mouth. And as you exhale, you will again feel that the air is a little bit cold. Try to keep your inhalations and exhalations equal.
after completing your current round, go for one last round and then suspend your practice. Keep the mind focused on the coolness that you feel after this practice. Now is the time for you to adjust your posture if you are feeling the knee. We will begin the practice of primary pranayam next, keeping the back and neck straight. You can choose to adopt the Shanmukhi Mudra or you can just keep your hands down and simply practice primary. If you're choosing to adopt the Mudra, then you can place your index finger on your eyes, your middle finger exactly where your nostrils are, ring finger above the lips, little finger below the lips and close your ears with the thumb. Keep your elbows at the shoulder level and after your next inhalation begin to exhale and create the makar sound the humming sound Just continue the rounds. Focus more on the vibration that is created in your forehead region and less on the loudness of the Makar chanting. Go for two more rounds after your current round and then you can relax your hands. Keeping the back and neck straight. Focus on the space between both your eyebrows. Now 
We are going to practice two more rounds of primary pranaya. So you can keep your hands relaxed. And whenever you feel ready, you can begin your practice. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, create the humming sound. Keep the teeth together in order to feel the vibration of the practice properly. After completing your current round, again, suspend the practice completely, keeping the back and neck straight. Simply observe. Keep your entire attention focused on the area between both your eyebrows. Keep your back and neck straight. Prepare yourself for the last round of primary pranayam. After inhaling, begin to create the makar sound. Keep your attention focused on the nasal area. See the impact of the humming. Go for one last round after completing your current round and then 
completely suspend your practice. Keeping the back and neck straight. Just observe the impacts of your practice. Very slowly begin to open up your posture and lie down in the Shavasana. You're going to relax the body. Keep your legs apart and keep the hands away from the body. Palms are facing upwards. The spine is straight. And leave the entire body loose. Feel the pull of the gravity. With each exhalation, push the tummy in and relax your lower back. Try to relax both your body and your mind and deeply enter Shavasana. Where the mind is relaxed and the body is also relaxed completely.
slowly start becoming aware of your breathing as you are inhaling. The tummy is coming out. As you are exhaling, contract your abdomen. As you inhale, energy is entering your body. As you exhale, any remaining stress is exiting from both the body and the mind. Take a few deep breaths. Start becoming aware of the posture of your body, your mat, your room, and all the sounds that are around you. Very gently move your fingers and your toes. Join both your legs together and very slowly turn towards your left side. Make a cushion with your left hand and place your right hand on the ground. And whenever you feel ready, come back into any comfortable sitting posture, keeping your eyes closed and the back and neck straight. We are going to end today's session with one Om chanting followed by three Shantis. Take a deep breath in for Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Observe the impact of your practice overall and also the impact of the chanting. Join your palms together, bow down. Just a sense of surrender and gratitude. Begin to rub both your palms together and generate proper heat between both the palms. Place your palms on your eyes. We are going to do this practice a few more times. So rub your palms together. Keep them on the eyes. Rub your palms together. Keep them on the eyes. 
few more times, wrap the palms together. Place them on your eyes. Last time, wrap the palms together. Keep them on your eyes. Without removing your hands, open your eyes one or two times inside your palms. And then very slowly while looking at your palms and while blinking, begin to remove your hands and spread this energy on your body. And namaste to everyone. So guys, any doubts from you? Any trouble that you faced you want to discuss? Because it was a very long session, no? No doubts. Okay, great. So tomorrow, yeah. No doubt. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow also we'll have something similar only. We are going to practice and then we will begin with mudras. Okay. So well done, guys. Uh, you guys did very well today. And uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. So take care and bye-bye. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye.